shiver in the dark, it's raining in the park, but the meantime Soft up the river, you stop, you hold everything A band is blowing Dixie, a double full time You feel alright when you hear that music ring Step inside, but you don't see too many faces. Coming out of the rain, and you hear that jazz go down. Too much competition, too many other places. But not too many homes can make that sound. How's it going folks, this is Wayne R back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today we're looking at Dire Straits and Sultans of Swing. Uh, so this is sort of an adapted way that you can play on an acoustic guitar, sort of a campfire version, an alternative version if you like. I know the proper version is mainly using bar chords, you know, uh, to get all that technique in, but uh, I've sort of adapted a way that you can play it on an acoustic guitar, so I hope you dig this version. I wouldn't say it's a beginner's song, uh, the way that I play I do like a little percussive strum as well, so we'll get into all that in the tutorial. Now if you do want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, so there'll be a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description, and the way that that works, just click on the link, sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you guys want on a pledge it's all very much appreciated all generally goes back into the lessons so it's a massive help but it gives you guys access to not only this song pretty much everything I've done over the past four years now so there's a lot of content up there there's also some exclusive videos that are on YouTube there's videos there from the archive stuff to coincide with some of the technique lessons that I've done if you're into the scales and blue stuff so what you're waiting for link in the comments link in the description if you don't want to do that and you'd like to show some appreciation in a different way I've got a new feature which is a super thanks link you'll find that just underneath the video there you can click on that make a small donation again massively appreciated uh, thanks for your continued support thanks everyone has subscribed and continues to do so now if you are subscribed and you haven't done already please hit that little notification bell again you'll find that just underneath the video there you click on that and you get notified every time I put a video out so you can keep up to date with all the videos and if you want to please go over and give me a like on social media so I'm Wayne Arguita on Facebook Twitter Instagram and now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so to play this song, you're going to need your guitar in standard tuning, but to play this version, you're going to need a capo up on the fifth fret, okay? Uh, now, for the intro, we're going to just hold an A minor chord. I like to, you know, do a little embellishment going into an A minor 7 as well. That's just taking the, the third finger off, so what we get is... Okay, so when we get into the verse, the chords are going to be an A minor, uh, a G, an F. At this point, I do an F major 7 with a C bass in, so if you've never seen me do that, just take a regular F major 7, and you're going to move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string relative to the capo, little pinky 3rd fret, that will go on the D string, okay? Let me go to an E, nice little embellishment the first time round on the E, I go into an E7, just taking the 3rd finger off and then putting it back on again. That goes around again, so we've got an A minor, a G, F, E. This time I put an E sus4 in, so that's just adding your little, keeping the E shape on, adding your little pinky on the second fret on the G string relative to the capo, and then off again, okay? Uh, the next line, we're gonna do a C chord. I like to do that with a G bass in, so similar to what we did on the F chord. Uh, then I do a G, so this G I do with a second, third, little pinky third fret on the top E string, do a little embellishment, adding my first finger on the first fret and the B string and then off again, so that'd be a G sus4 chord, back off again. Uh, then we go back to the F, an A minor, and then there's this little push at the end of that line where it'll go F to a G. So 
So rather than doing a regular G, I tend to move that F major seven shape up, sort of two frets. So you'll see that, you know, all come together when I put that together in a mini. So I'll just sing you that uh, intro on the first verse round. At the moment, I'm just using sort of proper strumming. You can play it that way, but we'll talk about the percussive strumming a little bit later on. So we've got the A minor. A minor seven, back to the A minor. You get a shiver in the dark and it's raining in the park in the meantime. E seven, back to E. South of the river you stop and you pull everything E sus 4, back to E, C The band is blowing Dixie, double four time G sus 4, back to G You feel alright, you hear the music ring See that little push there, we got F, 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 G Okay, so that all goes around again. We've got the A minor, so you step inside and you don't see too many faces. Coming out of the rain and you hear that jazz go down. Too much competition, too many other places. Too many homes to make that sound. Okay, so off the back of that A minor at the end of that second part of the verse there, we do that little push from the F to a G again, so. Way down south, love the town. Okay, so what happens here, um, we're going to do an A minor, it's sort of an A minor, quick change to a G, F, and then it goes A minor to a G. Now what I do with that quick change into the F, I actually do a lift off the A minor and then hit the F major 7, so and then back to the A minor Okay, so if you hear that, you've got the A minor lift off into the F major 7 and then A minor into G Again, we got so that goes around twice and that's really you know the meat and potatoes of the song you know just that verse and obviously the chorus uh, the little guitar solo goes over the you know the verse uh, then we go back into the uh, a regular verse and then we got the last chorus you know the sultan's a swing bit at the end that's just the f to the g and then that little okay so if you do want to play with just strumming we could just go down 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 and the chords that go half time will be a down down up so what we get is a down down up down up down up down down up down down up down Okay, but I think it's really nice to play this song to give it that added effect with a little percussive strum. Now I'm not going to go too thorough into that in this lesson. I am going to post a, a standalone lesson in that in the comments if you want to go and check out how to do percussive strumming. But in a nutshell, basically we're going to mute the strings with the you know the fleshy part of our palm by sort of you know as soon as we strum we sort of So the strings don't ring out at all we get that you know so as i'm strumming a split second before i'm going to put my palm on the strings so what we get is a down up chug up down up up down up up down up up down up Okay, so not easy to do as I say I'm going to put a standalone lesson in the comments if you want to go and check that out but uh, that is pretty much all you're going to need to play this great song hope you all dug that
Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and as I always say at this point in my lessons, come on, if you don't like that song, you don't like music, you know. Uh, it's a bit of a funny one with Dire Straits for me. Growing up, it was always a band that my dad used to listen to in the 80s, so I always associated it with my dad's music, and I wasn't really appreciative, you know, of the band at that time. But obviously growing up and becoming a guitarist myself, I realised, you know, what a great guitarist Mark Knopfler actually is, and, you know, still is, you know, he's still out there doing it. He's up there, one of the greats. Uh, obviously influenced by blues, I'm now a massive blues fan, and uh, I own all the Dire Straits albums now, and what a fantastic band, you know, they're, they're up there, one of the greatest. So this is sort of my adaption, like, you know, a campfire version. I know it's not played like this, but if you want to play it acoustically, you know, an open mic night or at a gig or, you know, just at a barbecue all for fun. I think this is a great way that you can play it, especially when you have that percussive strumming and I think uh, it's very, very effective. So I uh, hope you all dug that. If you've got any other requests for any other Dire Straits, it doesn't have to be Dire Straits. It can be anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar in reason. So a lot of you know the drill now. The easiest way to put requests in is obviously comment below the video or if you want to find me a personal message over on those social media platforms, I suggest you at the start of the video, you're very welcome to. I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests and you know, I have to sort of hemp it things a little bit. Some things work, some things don't, but don't let that put you guys off. Please do keep the request coming. You would be surprised with what does actually work. So even if it's obscure, please pour it my way and I will consider it. So there we go. Uh, thanks for your continued support. As I said in the intro, if you are subscribed, the further way you can help me out and yourselves out is by hitting that little notification bell so you get notified every time I put a video out. You want the chords, lyrics and strumming patterns and not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past four years as well as bonus content. So you'll find a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. I've got the super thanks link, you'll find that just underneath the video this side. I'm sorry about all this pointing, just showing you where everything is. You can click on that and make a small donation again massively appreciated and another way that you guys could help me out this doesn't cost you a penny but it's very very effective and it's word of mouth so if you dig my videos you like what i do please like and share my videos to your friends to your work colleagues anyone you know plays a guitar please point them in my direction i really appreciate that so that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching maybe morning day night thank you very much and i'll catch you all for lesson very soon take care